Welcome to the MIBF Online 2021. The pandemic has restricted our attempts to meet again in person, but we are grateful to the power of technology to bring us all together virtually. This year's theme is Reading Reimagined, and this resonates in the official MIBF 2021 artwork, which features a mini reading community showing the hybrid reading habits we have developed in both the print and digital media. Thank you to our dear exhibitors and sponsors for partnering with us for the second time as we replicate the MIBF experience online. Thank you for choosing our platform to connect with the reading community. We thank you, our readers, for the amazing support you extend to the MIBF events, whether in person or online. Let us celebrate the written word the next five days and the power of books that bring people together. So get ready for a packed schedule of the MIBF Online 2021. We have a lot of exciting events for you. Thank you for giving us a reason to celebrate. Because of you, we will have new stories to share, new characters that empower and inspire us. Because of the power of books, we transport back in time. We fast forward to the future. Because of reading, we dream, we believe, and we imagine. Welcome to the MIBF Online 2021. This pandemic has truly changed many things about us. Our preferences, the way we live, the way we interact with others. But one of the many things that remains unchanged is how necessary literature is in our lives. Literature remains essential for us to be able to deal with this pandemic with the necessary courage, grace, and positivity. This is why BDAP is thankful that Prime Trade has once again put all of our favorite literary gems under one virtual roof, the MIBF Online. Congratulations, Prime Trade, on a successful pivot online and for continuing to provide a unique literary experience for all Filipino readers. Here's wishing we all see each other again very soon. Good day, book lovers, book producers, book readers, and book supporters. In the name of the Department of Education, I would like to congratulate Manila International Online Book Fair for continuing in a very creative manner the tradition of book fairs which give opportunities not only to our learners, but to the general public to access printed material, books, magazines, comics, educational aids, and various materials. Even before I was Secretary of Education, I have been a, a more or less a frequent visitor to the book fairs which have been held um, annually. This is an opportunity for those who love books to access titles which might be unavailable at the moment in the usual bookstores and the usual uh, outlets. And so, congratulations to the uh, Manila International Online Book Fair the Book Development Association of the Philippines, the Philippines Booksellers Association, the Overseas Publishers Representatives, and the Association of the Philippines, and the Asian Catholic Communicators for putting their hands together and working together to make 
this uh, event um, a success. We are very pleased that this event has been uh, continued as one who always buys books during the book fair and I'm also very happy that you are considering various forms of um, uh, presenting books, various forms of reading books, and perhaps ways by which we encourage our learners to read more. I cannot forget that as a child, when in basic education, we were required to read books. We had to submit book reports. We were uh, required to make book summaries, which taught us not just to literally repeat what the book says, but to make synopsis, to make uh, conclusions, and to relearn uh, not only old ideas, but also new words and new ways of expressing ourselves. These days, reading has a lot of competition. Decades ago, I was always amazed with how my son would be working with an earphone, listening to an e-book on the one hand with radio music playing, a television show which is ongoing, and at the same time he is writing or painting or doing other things. Unlike our time when what we did to read was to sit in a corner and very very carefully read each and every precious word. These days Reading has a lot of competition. It is faster to watch television, even faster to send a text mess messages, faster to watch a movie or listen to, to music rather than read and savor beautiful language beautiful lessons and truly inspiring uh, stories as well as essays and other uh, reading material so in the days in these days of so much competition with reading and so many ways of accumulating knowledge without reading it's good to see that you are still holding your book fairs, but I'm sure they're different from the book fairs that I have been used to as an academic before I was Secretary of Education. And I congratulate you for all these efforts. After all, we cannot stop reading. We must continue creating and contributing to a literate reading public. Thank you very much. My warm greetings to our Filipino readers across the country for the second year of the Manila International Online Book Fair. My commendation and thanks to Ms. Irene Lloren, President of Prime Trade Incorporated, for continuously spearheading this important aspect of the Philippine culture for both academic and leisure purposes. Your goal to preserve reading and literacy in the Filipinos' lives amidst this pandemic is indeed evident. With this year's theme, Reading Reimagined, MIBF Online serves as the initiator in redefining and showcasing the largest and the most comprehensive collection 
of books, magazine, comics, educational aids, and allied materials that can provide a digital venue where interchanging of ideas will take place among publishers, booksellers, academicians, writers, distributors of educational aids, and everyone connected to book development, publishing, printing, learning institutes, and other related trade in and outside of the country. It is of paramount importance to resonate the long-standing fact that reading widens the knowledge and imagination of the readers to create a better world. Through this event, we get to immerse in the arts and magic realism of Japanese writer Haruki Murakami to the classic and mesmerizing imagination of science fiction writer Ray Bradbury. From academic and young adult books to electronic references, journals, and educational aids, Filipino readers will get to enjoy books at the comfort and safety of their homes. Thank you for having me as a part of this special event. I am optimistic that most Filipinos can benefit from the noble objectives of this book fair. In view of the importance of a strong, robust, and dynamic higher education system in the country, initiatives like this contribute to the utmost realization of our unrelenting goal for a globally competitive but locally responsive set of Filipino higher education graduates. As the great American children's author, poet, and filmmaker Dr. Seuss said, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So now, I welcome you all to the Manila International Online Book Fair 2021. Enjoy the experience on browsing through the catalogs, venturing onto the unique world that every book offers, and make new friends. Hi, this is Berna Romalupuyat of the Department of Tourism. I wish to warmly welcome all the participants and visitors of this year's Manila International Online Book Fair. Congratulations to Prime Trade Asia Incorporated for staging this virtual event with the theme Reading Reimagined. The challenging times necessitated us to find or rediscover activities that could bring us comfort or help us get through the day. Many have found refuge in reading books. Several surveys have shown that more people have read more books in the course of this pandemic. Aside from being good for our brain, reading also helps us release our emotions. We also find inspiration and gain new perspectives through reading. It heightens our imagination, challenges our ideas, and even enables us to discover different worlds. For book lovers, it's always a wonderful and exciting experience to get lost in a sea of books. We are very grateful to the Manila International Online Book Fair for always providing us a platform to indulge in reading. But whether we prefer digital or physical books, the more important thing is to develop and maintain an interest in reading. It is in this light that I wish to congratulate Prime Trade Asia and other supporters of this endeavor, the Book Development Association of the Philippines, the Philippine Booksellers Association, the Overseas Publishers Representatives Association of the Philippines, and the Asian Catholic Communicators. Thank you for your efforts to continuously promote reading and literacy amidst this global crisis. To all the participants and visitors, enjoy your books, and I hope that your love for reading will never waver. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, Mabuhay, and please stay safe.